fourth day. So, what did you want to talk about? <sighs> what are you doing here? <sighs> she has a new outfit. Are you okay? Did you drink too much last night? You called me over, and you don't even remember. Huh? No way. I mean, yesterday, I... <sighs> What's wrong? You're acting weird. Weird? Me? God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? It's like the important parts are missing. Oh, I remember them, though. <laughs> uh, well, I wonder why I... <laughs> Silly. Is she the witch? Huh? Hey, what's this long hair? Wow. <sighs> wow. Uh -oh. uh -oh. That's Catherine's. What should I do? Should I just tell her? No, I can't let her find out like this. Oh, that's mine. Uh. Probably off my chest. <laughs> You know, manly. <laughs> huh? Your chest? Really? Gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, uh, it's it's that. But you know, when sometimes the long white hair grows on your body, it's it's good luck. But this is like really <laughs> long. Yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> good thing too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself. You know. Oh really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa there. <laughs> Knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die, or I kill you. Which would be better? Take. Come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! <laughs> I'll give you five seconds. If you don't answer me, I'll kill you. Whoa. One. Creepy, 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 creepy. Two, huh? Three, four. Hey, come on, come on. Quit fooling around. Five. There's no other girl. Right? You're imagining things. Hmm. Is that the truth? Of course it is. Hmm. I trust you. Thanks. <sighs> God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh, no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh oh. Ant is back. Remember him from the very first episode? What's his deal? I knew he'd be back. Whoa. Uh Whoa. -oh. Uh -oh. Who's here? You don't have to get that, do you? Whoa, 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 whoa wait. Hold on. Angry buzzer. Maybe the ant is one of Catherine with the K spies. Or Catherine with the C's demons. I don't know. One or the other. Uh oh. We're in trouble. No. Hey! What the heck? Why is this locked? Unchain this door. Uh, sure. But uh, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to end well. It is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> uh oh, here we go. Vincent, what is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? 
One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. He gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... Huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Now hey. try! Go, 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 go! go. Uh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Uh, huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Look, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen, I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. See ya. Ugh, that's the look of a confused man, and Catherine is looking out the eye hole, and she's gonna turn into a demon and kill us, probably. Good luck, Vincent. I wish you the best. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Not staying around. Load screen. Oh, God. What's gonna happen, guys and girls? I almost don't know if when that baby pops up, if it's saying, like, here Vincent's choosing to be good, or here his, his, his morals are wavering. I don't even know. We still need to meet my parents and tell them. Oh, and we have to pick a name, but that might be rushing things. I'll text you the details later. I gotta go. <sighs> Meeting the parents. I'm just gonna sit here and let this happen. He's never met their parents before? What? Or Catherine's parents? K. Catherine? Oh. God, look at her. Oh, man, you look at those. What am I doing? I can't look away. No, no, I've made up my mind. I can't let her tempt me. Rude. I gotta do something quick. No time to think about the future. But still. Mm. Is this girl? Is there gonna be an ant? Oh my. Bathroom. Whoa. You're late. Did you see the movie where the guy was, uh, you know. Shut up! Asshole, and just give me some toilet paper, please. Uh. Quit mumbling. <laughs> concentrate in here. Still, this girl. Look, girl. Hey, what are you looking at in there? I want to see. Oh shit! God, what am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. Hmm, before, like what I was saying about the, the baby that pops up, the morality baby. Was that before? I thought it was like based on your choices, that was the decision of the line he's saying. But maybe it's just showing that's when he's like thinking a moral decision. Or I don't know. I don't know if it's I don't know if my decisions are affecting those lines or if those lines are preset and then it's just affecting you know what I mean, affecting it that so, way. You still doing the two-timing tango? Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. <laughs> what I'm saying is you've got options ahead of you. Oh, yeah? Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> my mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, then you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. 
I know. I know. Accidents, huh? More and more of them lately. The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard. Shocking, huh? Thought he always did like to party. Probably party too hard. He had this horrible look on his face. Really? It's like that stuff on the news. <sighs> anyway, have some magro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. Oh. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. You? Nah, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. If Vincent would just not go to that one bar, he might be able to avoid Catherine, and he might be able to avoid drinking, which seems to cause all this trouble when he can't remember anything. Or he could go to a different bar and avoid her entirely, or something along those lines. He seems to be putting himself in harm's way over and over again like a fool. The baby thing throws everything into a crazy mess. Like, if it was just Catherine versus Catherine, I, it wouldn't be that difficult. But with the baby there, I think it becomes a lot more convoluted and confusing and difficult of a choice to make. We're back at the straight sheet. We've got a text message. We'll check it before we wrap this up. I'm working overtime. So oh, whoa. Who are these from? These are ones we apparently read in... Our sleep. Hello, I saw an article in a magazine about the best bakeries in the state. It's kind of embarrassing. We've got to eat at one alone. So I was thinking, you might want to go with me. We can go to that place, the Great View I was telling you about yesterday. If you want to go, please tell me what days you're available. Tobias. Hey, sorry, man. That text I just sent was rare because you never saw it, okay? I'm not going to be at the bar tonight. I have to go buy something. I think Johnny will be there, so be sure to talk to him. And don't tell him I'm buying anything. T Dog. Hey, don't be too hard. It's a bro marriage and all bad. It's nice to be able to spend la 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 la. And then this one is from, hey, I'm sending you a special picture. For our next prize, if you're opening at work, it's not using any reaction. You see me, blah, blah, blah. That's the picture. Whoa. Shit. Can't look at this okay, sorry, Vincent. To check this out somewhere where no one can see. Okay. Well, Vincent is in trouble. Things are going bad. We've got a lot of people at the bar. we got Morgan. we got some new folk. New, the dude sitting, that's Johnny over there sitting at the bar. So lots of talking to do next episode. And then levels to get to stage number five. Good floor evening. number five. That all happens. When we return, thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with this playthrough. It's awesome. I like it's a really good game, and I hope you really enjoy it as well. Have a fantastic day, guys. Until next time, we will see you. Actually, let's get some money first. How much does it cost to raise a lot? Let me tell you from experience. Not because I've raised a child, because I was a child and I was expensive. <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Until next time, rum and cola, Malcolm Mobs. We will see you later.